down here at the Lower Mountain Fork River, our trout fishery below Broken Bow Lake in McCurtain County, Oklahoma. Um, we're going out uh, to look at some brown trout. Uh, primarily, we'll also probably see some rainbows out there. They feed pretty good in the evening and at dusk, a little bit more active. So that's a really good time for us to go out and see them. Because it's a put-take fishery, we don't really do too many like sampling activities on this stretch of river. So this gives us an opportunity to see what we're what kind of fish we have out there, their size distribution, see what we have remaining out there in terms of the size of the fish. The clear water allows us to kind of spotlight them. Uh, we're actually just gonna shine these lights out in the water, see uh, where these fish are at. Try and get some video of them. From there, we can kind of um, make a composite of what sizes we see, knowing whether or not we have some older fish, some potential state records out there. Right, yeah, you got them. Yeah, no, I saw a streak of red. He went right under that, didn't he? So we see most of our uh, brown trout up in the Spillway Creek. Um, typically that area gets less pressure from people and the brown tend to be a little more elusive um, and reclusive. They don't like people as much. Um, so we see a lot of brown trout up there or in the evening hole area, we see them in a few spots that might be a little bit more difficult to access for people. So again, they're, they're trying to avoid people. They're trying to keep that low profile. Um, whereas the rainbow trout typically are not as shy towards people, um, so we'll see them in easier to access areas, and they're, they're a little bit easier to track uh, from day to day. And the reason we're so interested in the browns is we think that helping to get the browns better established on this river, it'll provide a better angling opportunity for everybody as well. Right there, right in here. Yeah. Are you, is, are you still on? I'm out here helping you guys out tonight, uh, helping locate some browns at night, seeing their nocturnal patterns and activities, um, as well as some rainbow trout as well. Just trying to get an idea of uh, how these fish are doing on the lower mountain fork and ways that we can help the river continue to thrive. There are really, really big fish in here, both rainbow and brown trout. Um, typically, we'll see several browns in 18 to 22 inch range, which would be in the three to five, six pound range for brown trout. And then every year we end up catching some rainbows that are in that 20 to 24 inch range. Um, so in that six to eight, nine pound range. Um, so yeah, the opportunity exists on this river to catch a trophy brown and rainbow trout. one of two designated year-round trout fisheries in the entire state of Oklahoma, as well as the only trout fishery in the state of Oklahoma that has um, successful natural reproduction of the trout in the river. Um, so it's not just stock trout. Yes, it, the uh, ODWC does a great job of stocking it, um, but it is a true year-round trout stream. And for people that love to vacation out west um, or back east, where they go and, and catch their favorite types of trout. They don't have to travel in upwards of 10 hours to get that mountain experience and that mountain stream experience. Um, so the amount of anglers this brings in from all the big metropolitan areas, uh, it really is a huge boost to the tourism industry in Oklahoma. Uh, saw some nice bigger rainbows, uh, saw some brown trout. Um, it's really just a good way to, to get footage of these fish um, for our different uses and then kind of see what fish we have here in that river. Mm -hmm.